Hello everyone, I'm Miss Rafa. Today we're going to talk about life in Japan. Let's get started. Module 6 Life in Japan Now let's start with some vocabulary. Japan Japan Japanese Japanese Mat Mat Chopsticks Chopsticks Serve food Serve food Beans Beans Rice curry Rice curry Fried noodles Fried noodles Pick up Pick up Baseball Baseball Calligraphy Calligraphy Alphabet Alphabet Let's read these messages Dear Kenji, hello, how are you? I am writing you this email after school. We are doing a project on people from different countries. I am writing an essay about daily life in Japan. So I am sending you some questions. Can you answer them for me? Thanks. All the best. Ahmad Now this message is from Kenji to Ahmad. Dear Ahmad, I'm sending you my answers to your questions. I hope you write an interesting essay. Bye. Kenji What do you usually have for breakfast? We usually have a traditional Japanese breakfast of rice, soup, salad, and the special beans with tea. We always sit on mats and eat at a low table. What subjects do you study? We study art, music, calligraphy, social studies, maths, English, and Japanese. We have to learn 2,000 characters and 248 letter alphabets. We have a school in the summer too. 
We go swimming, play baseball, and do judo and karate. Do you have lunch at school? Yes, we eat in our classroom with our teacher. We serve food to each other and eat with chopsticks. We eat fried noodles or rice curry and drink milk. Then we clean our teeth. Actually, we keep our school clean too. We pick up paper and clean the classroom. Kenji. Read the emails and rewrite the summary, correcting the facts. هلا في عنا نص وفي بعض الأخطاء اللي رح ندور عليها ونصلحها. Let's read. Kenji is from Japan. He never sits. No. He sits on mats and eats his meals from a low table. At school, he studies Chinese. No, he studies Japanese language, which has two forty-eight letter alphabets. He has a school in the summer where he learns baseball, football, and karate, judo, and karate. At school. The students eat together in a special room. No, in their classroom. They don't have to clean up. No, they have to clean up after the meal. Grammar in context, reported speech revision. Match these reported sentences with what Kenji actually says in his email. هلا في عنا جمل بدنا نقول هاي الجملة من أي سؤال. سؤال الأول أو الثاني أو الثالث. Let's read. Kenji said that he had school in the summer too. What question is this? Question number two. He told me that he usually ate rice for breakfast. What question is this? It's question number one. Kenji said that the students at his school kept their school clean. This is the third question. Now reporting. Write five sentences about yourself in the present symbol or present continuous. رح نكتب جمل إما بالحاضر البسيط أو بالحاضر المستمر. Write a report of your conversation. بعد ما نكتب جمل عادية رح نعمل هدول الجمل reported speech. Let's see an example. Iman, I live in Damascus. I study English. إذا بدنا نعمل لهم reporting بصيرو. Iman said that she lived in Damascus. 
She said that she studied English. Okay. باقي الجمل وظيفة لإلكم فيكم تكتبوهم بالتعليقات وأنا بصلح لكم ياهم. Now, did you know most Japanese people don't sleep on beds? They use special mattresses called futons that they roll up each morning. كلمة mattress معناها فرشة التخت. Now let's go to the activity book on page 59. Make nouns from these adjectives and verbs. Choose the correct endings and write the nouns in the table. هون عنا مجموعة من الصفات والأفعال اللي بدنا نحولهم للأسماء. عادة منحول الفعل أو الصفة لإسم بإضافة نهاية صغيرة بنهاية الكلمة فبتتحول لإسم هاي النهايات هي إنس منت نس شن إر عادة من كتر الاستخدام لحالكم بتصيروا بتقلفوا الكلمة بنهاية معينة For example, we have first the adjectives عنا الصفات Angry. شو الاسم من angry? Anger. Hungry. Hunger. Dangerous. Danger. Blind. Blindness. Happy, happiness, sad, sadness, intelligent, intelligence, absent, Absence Different Difference هلا الفيربس الأفعال Excite Excitement Move Movement Improve, improvement, suggest, suggestion, examine, examination, inform, information, That's everything for today. Thanks for your time. See you next lesson.